at A. The time is equal to zero, which means that speed is equal to 15, zero over 20, plus e to the power of zero. This is zero, this is one. So the speed at A is 15, which means that we can deduce now the speed at B, because the speed at B is just going to be two times the speed at A. So it's going to be two times of 15. So at B, the speed is 30. To find the distance between A and B, we will first need the expression that represents distance. And that can be found by integrating this. So to find distance, I'm going to let the notation be S. You will be integrating this, which will be integrating 15 T over 20 plus e to the power of kt dt. And this is equal to 15. Integrating this, we have a t squared divided by 2 times 20. It is going to be equal to 40. Plus, integrating this, it is 1 over the coefficient of t, which is k. So it will be 1 over ke to the power of kt plus c. In fact, we can sort of like solve for c because we know that when t is equal to 0, the particle is going to be passing through A. So when T is equal to 0, S, the distance should be equal to 0. Let's make use of that to solve for C. So when T is equal to 0, we're going to be letting S to be equal to 0. So it will be 15, 0 square over 40, plus 1 over K e to the power of 0, plus C, this is equal to 0. So C here is equal to minus 15 over K. We will still need to solve for K. And to do this, I'm going to make use of the results that we have derived in part 1, which is at B, the speed is equal to 30. And we have the expression for speed. This was given to us by the question. And according to the question, at B, T is equal to 10 seconds. So we are going to let T be equal to 10. And we're going to let V be equal to 30. So when t is equal to 10, when t is equal to 10, v is equal to 30 at b. So it is going to be 15, 10 over, we are going to be making use of this equation, 10 over 20 plus e to the power of 10k. This is going to be equal to 30. So we have a 15 times half. And if I were to divide this 15 across to the other side, this is going to be equal to 2. So this is going to be half plus e to the power of 10k. e to the power of 10k, this is equal to 3 over 2. Ln both sides, we have a 10k is equal to ln of 3 over 2. This tells us that k is equal to 1 over 10. Ln of 3 over 2. And now we are ready to find the the distance of B from A, because at A, the distance is equal to zero. So basically, the distance from B to A, it is from A to B, it is just going to be the distance S when T is equal to 10. So at B, we know T is equal to 10. So S is equal to this expression over here. So it is going to be 15. T is 10. So 10 square over 40 plus 1 over k. k is this. So 1 over 10 ln of 3 over 2 e to the power of k. k is once again 1 over 10 ln of 3 over 2 times t. t is 10. So 10 then close bracket plus c. c is minus 15 over k. k is 1 over 10 ln 3 over 2. And if I were to press this into my calculator, I'm going to get a distance of 2, 2, 2. For acceleration, I'm going to let the notation A represents it. And A is going to be dv dt, where v is the speed that was given to us previously. So differentiating this with respect to t, we have a 1 over 20 plus ke to the power of kt. And we are supposed to find the acceleration when t is equal to 2. So when t is equal to 2, the acceleration will be 15 
1 over 20 plus k. We are going to make use of the k that we have de derived in part 2. And that will be 1 over 10 ln 3 over 2. And e to the power of k, which is 1 over 10 ln 3 over 2, multiplied by t, this is 2. And if I were to press this into the calculator, the acceleration is 1.41.